It's time to get hot and bothered. Oh, my. You're tuned into the Talking Heat Podcast with Hot Sauce Guide and FGC. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Talking Heat. Turk and Slug, how the fuck are you? Also, for you playing at home, I dropped the first at bomb tonight. Yeah, you did. So oh, proud. That must mean you had a shitty day. It means he's filled of piss and vinegar and he's ready to get spicy. But I'm all right. I'm hanging in there. I'm great. I just, uh, I'm on like day five of walking like 12,000 steps a day because we're doing room inspections. Ooh. So your boy is tired. And your boy was not supposed to do room inspections today. So he wore his nice Air Force ones and then halfway through the day had to take over. Uh, and so his toesies are hurting. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, you came through it. You came out. I'm, I'm here now. I'm here now. Yeah. I'm gonna be chugging some bird blood, talking to Sean from Sauce Leopard. So it's gonna be a mighty fucking great day. I dropped the yeah, second F word. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, those that uh, put money on Slug lost this time. Everyone's so you let them down. Your toes. That's all right. Do you think I care what people think? I don't care what the populace thinks. Down with the man. All right, get on with the show. I'm excited. Let's bring him in. All right, everyone can't wait any longer. Here with us today is Sean from Sauce Leopard. How are you doing? It's been a while. I'm doing great. Welcome to my laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I'm, I'm in my wife's office, so I you know get that. it. Like, it's not our office. This is my wife's office. So, I, yes. Uh, See how much dirty laundry gets aired. Yeah, <laughs> that's the the dirty laundry room. That, that that's good. That's where all the all the good stuff comes out. I dig that. So you got a computer desk in your laundry room, or did you just set your phone up on the wall? No, right I I actually used to work out of this this little room here, and um, recently upgraded to an office. So moving up. Heck yeah. Yes, you are, man. You're moving all over the place. Yeah. Good things coming for Sauce Leopard, man. This this guy misses me though. Not, oh, not no. Look like at that little regal white chin and belly and throat. Oh, I love that color scheme on cats. Yeah. Just so everybody watching knows, my cat is right here staring at me the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, it's like you, have you fed me yet? Are you going to feed me? Are, are we, yeah. uh, Hanging is, out? Is it What's snack up? time? Where's the catnip? No, What's going it's on? Just love. <laughs> it's just love. Just pure love. I wish somebody loved me like that. That's a uh, for a, a recently married man. That's uh, a. <laughs> oh no, she know, does. I, she does. I was talking more about our dogs. dogs. <laughs> our dogs only come to me whenever they want food. They don't give a shit about me. All right. If only everyone looked at you like the cat looks at Sean. You know. That should be a, a meme. Day. That should, that should be, nice. be an internet meme. <laughs> All right, Sean. Our our go to first question. Tell us a little bit about you. Uh, outside of hot sauce. So, growing yeah. up, uh, who are you? Who am I? Um, I'm Sean Patrick Goodwin. I uh, I grew up in New Jersey. That's, that's um, a good name. Yeah, thank you. It's a very Irish name. My mm -hmm. dad is Irish. My mom's Italian. Uh, yeah, grew okay. up in Jersey and big Giants Yankees fan. Um, came out here. When I was 18 for school, I went to uh, CU Boulder for marketing, graduated in 2013, um, and then immediately moved to Denver. Boulder's a cool place, but like when you're, you know, a teenager, but it's not, wasn't okay. ideal for after college. So Denver had a lot more to yeah. offer, came here, um, pretty much just started, went right into working in service industry and restaurants so I could play music pretty much. I, I play in two bands and we've toured quite a bit over the last decade. And um, yeah, I did that for a long time. And then um, COVID hit and both of those industries kind of fell to shit. So I would, you know, I really love to cook. I grew up in a big family <clears throat> that was kind of just like dominated by women who could just you know, feed a party of 50 yeah. with their eyes mm -hmm. closed. So yeah, growing up yeah. around that, it was, it was really inspiring. Um, so I really took a liking to cooking and just, you know, practice all the time at home and eventually started making sauces and 
bottling them, giving them to friends and family. And that was probably like 2018 when I started that. 2019, I launched the little web store in like November 2019. And then you know, a couple months later, it was lockdowns and already had a little bit of a following. Not much, but it was kind of right place, right time. It, honestly, if it weren't for COVID, I don't think I would be doing what I'm doing. I don't know what I'd be doing, but I was looking for new work. I was trying to stop bartending. I didn't want to work late nights anymore. Um, but yeah, it, it, it worked out. I'm glad I did what I did. Um, that's kind of a brief history. I think music is still number one for me, um, even though how much I love this industry. Um, I'd, I'd still say that, yeah, I'd like to see myself doing music again full time someday. We'll see. Yeah. So you're from Jersey. Is this uh, and now and then you moved to moved to Colorado for college. So what kind of music? We talking some like punk, folk, country. What do you play? Have you seen I'm, his hair? Yeah. Well, I don't judge. Okay. That's a good question. I don't give a no. fuck what the populace thinks, and I don't ever judge people. Those are the two things you need to know about Slugless. <laughs> I, uh, I play drums in like a it's like a heavy blues rock band, and then I play guitar in a metal band. It's kind of like death metal doom metal okay um but i grew up playing piano i like all types of music piano is still number one for me um yeah i don't know Did I listen his to hair it all. I say listen... piano to you you prick did that hair <laughs> say piano that's why we ask these questions and we don't assume anything I, uh, that's fantastic i've just listened I love the to I love the the metal music so i assumed i'm sorry i made an ass out of me mm -hmm. I, I listen to a lot of hip-hop as well Definitely, okay. I grew up on all, like, the New York hip-hop, like, you know, Dipmats, yeah. okay. Dipset, whatever you want to call them. Um, but, yeah, I'm, you know, I'll listen to it all. I don't judge. So is the, is the, 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 the band, you, you said that you want to get back into doing music uh, full-time or being passion project number one. Um, is that on, a, like, a full hiatus while everything with Sauce Leopard's popping off? Or no, is there no, still no, playing my... shows and touring? <clears throat> still, both bands are still active. Um, just not quite as much. I think during uh, the pandemic, everybody kind of, like, was forced to pursue some other careers, and everybody's pretty busy with those. And, you know, I, I, I don't want to be touring full-time. That's not really, like, what I, like, would love to see myself doing. I don't really know what that means to be doing yeah. it full time, but um yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know, but we yeah, to answer your question, we are still playing for the most part the emphasis is on just like writing music, writing good albums, working on cuz that's, you know, the lasting material. Yeah. 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 How does how do and I don't know if this is a part of it or not is your interest in music your um i, I kind of know this is a leading question uh what music overlap is there with uh with sauce leopard what kind of um, inspirations have you taken and things like that you know i guess you could say that like you know making a sauce is like writing a song you're taking a little bit of this inspiration a little bit of that and something doesn't work you toss it out and, you know and you move on with the songwriting process and you end up at a finished product somewhere. Um, but yeah, I, I think in general though, I took a lot of inspiration from music, especially with like the aesthetic and the branding. Um, mm -hmm. I really like each sauce having its own identity uh, as you could like with our art. It's all, a lot of companies have like one label and it has a different flavor below. I really wanted to have, each one be its own unique thing as if it were like a different band or album, whatever, whatever. I don't think I necessarily yeah. like thought about it like that when I was doing it, but you know, subconsciously, I think maybe that's what was going on. I get that. Yeah. Some of your different looking at all the bottles of sauces you have, I can definitely see that album aesthetic. Every sauce is a bit of a different album cover genre. Feel right. To it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. I, I, I do the art on those, or most of them. There's a couple sauces I haven't done, but I've done most of the art on those as well. Um, uh, so, I don't know. I like to draw a little bit, but I kind of 
I don't do it as much as I should or I'd like to. So the the label stuff has given me an opportunity to to use that art, you know. What comes yeah. first, the the chicken or the egg when it comes to have any of the sauces been like I have this really cool logo, I want to make something that matches up with it or has it always been this is the sauce, this is the flavor profile, what can I draw or or design for that? You know, it's a good question. I'm trying to think back. I think there was a little bit of both. Um, like with the crimson drip, that was, you know, the red sauce. And I thought just like a big, you know, kind of red blood drop would be a cool, um, cool art design for that. So I drew that. But um, I'm trying to think, some of the other ones, I think I had maybe just been doodling and it was like, oh, that's a cool cool design for this um but yeah it's a fun process it's it you know it adds a little bit of more creative flexibility and and control if i'm doing the art and the sauce itself you know yeah that's really really cool speaking on the creativity aspect of everything um with all your different sauces are you trying to fill a gap? Like, do you go, Hey, I need something that would go good on this food. Like I know ask Asher goes incredibly well with pizza. Um, do you look for something to enhance your food or where do your recipes kind of come from? Um, you know, the first couple ones, like I wanted a red sauce and that was where crimson drip came from. I was like, I want just like a classic table red, like, you know, think, tapatio on steroids and that was kind of where that came from and that actually used to be called the red october you've seen that movie with uh mm-hmm. uh yeah. what is it sean connery um yeah but yeah i was like oh, i think that's too much of a ripoff on a movie i can't can't name it that <laughs> but then then i wanted a green sauce so i started working at green and then i wanted a little more of like a chili or um, I don't really know. The Skywriter ended up, uh, I don't know. That was just like a weird concoction. That was like a couple years in the making. Um, the mango habanero though, that was like, ever, or the Colfax killer. Everybody has to have like some kind of like tropical fruit sauce. So I was like, man, everybody uses mango. A lot of people use pineapple. I'm going to throw in some banana and like, you know, it was garlic, turmeric, bunch of stuff in there. That was that was actually my oldest recipe. Did I say that crimson drip was my first? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's a good question. I think now, now that I have a like set group of sauces, I'm very, I'm much more particular about new ones that I add. Cause I already have like, you know, the, the fruit, a couple fruit based sauces. I already have a Mexican table sauce. I already have a verde sauce. So it's like, you have, I have to be very, specific about where to go next and like that was you know bird blood the cranberry one that was so much different um and a couple of the other small batch ones we've done and i really try to like make sure that each one is far enough different from the rest and after a while you think you you run out of ideas but you know i think there's always room for some new stuff out there i'm sure i'm sure every type of sauce has been made by somebody though um nobody has an original idea anymore I was just talking to my brother about making a corn based sauce and he and this released that corn sauce today. <laughs> yeah. We were just yeah. talking about so, that earlier. Not doing yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 we have a group chat with a couple other people and it was, Mark posted that earlier and we were all just like, there's not corn in that. I don't know. That's, that doesn't add up, but yeah. Wait, there's not. <laughs> Thankfully it does. No, no there, there is. is. There is, but we were oh, oh, oh. we were just like we we hope that there there, there's actual corn in the corn sauce. <laughs> now, do yeah, you, do you often corn. find yourself like you have a great idea, but you, like you just said, Heatness just came out with one, so you're scrapping it. So, do you find yourself scrapping ideas because you don't want to seem like a copycat, or have there been times you're like, I don't care, my sauce is better than your sauce, so I'm going. Yes, there, it there, forward. there have been like I searched before I went full force with Bird Blood. I looked around, I was like, yeah, you know, there's a couple that exist, but nothing that's stopping me. Whereas, okay. like, you know, Heatness releasing one and it being such like a, you know, such a unique product to do one right after just wouldn't be a good look. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think things go in waves, though, sometimes. I mean, um, or trends. Like, it seems like this fall, out of nowhere, suddenly everything is maple. Um, Right. Or um, there's been, you know, uh, coffee um, before that. You know, there's all these different, I'm trying to even think, but it seems like things go in waves. So, I mean, it's definitely... A market yeah, where and you can and you can totally like take a theme that's been used a million times and put your own spin on it and have it maybe even taste nothing like any of the other ones or you know you make a corn sauce that doesn't even taste like corn it's possible um so yeah I, you know it's you can put whatever the fuck you want in the hot sauce like it's you can really like as long as there's <laughs> as long as it's acidic and spicy it's hot sauce it's, you know? someone's gonna buy it absolutely <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I uh, I've always joked that since we're fat guy certified, we have to have like the calorie count of our hot sauce has to be like almost like triple the amount like of a normal sauce, just so that it can like fit on brand. Uh, so just have yeah, to add our like, hot sauce when we make add, it like, is going to be twelve as, like, calories. A binder or something in there, you know, just <laughs> something insane. Or maybe uh, that bird we'll blood might be a good one then. Bird blood is I, uh, I, we, we use craisins for that. Ooh, so nice. if you eat enough of those, there's some calories in there. <laughs> I am I am so excited to try this. We've uh, I've had this bottle just like teasing me because yeah. What are you trying to you trying to make us fat with five calories a serving? Damn, John. <laughs> <laughs> Giving American sure. diabetes one tablespoon. Probably what is it? Thirty servings in a bottle. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. One fish, yeah. Get down. It. Oh, I like might drinking a heavy beer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh yeah, so That's like uh, Thanksgiving is my my absolute all time favorite holiday. Like, uh, we can get into the 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 history of it, whatever. But the actual event of just pigging the fuck out and just oh, putting yeah. myself in a coma on a couch, uh, is literally the best thing ever for me. Um, Heaven. and so when I saw at uh, and down in Albuquerque that you had a sauce that was geared for uh like a like a cranberry i was like oh fuck i need 10 bottles of this and i am so excited to just smother all of my food with it this month yeah uh, i'm I, i'm so hyped for it i had a lady come well, up to me uh the other day at a i was doing a tasting actually at a ace hardware um where, where they carry our sauce by the way ace is killing it with their barbecue sections these days i don't know if you guys have any big local ones really um, yeah i'll have to check yeah, it like, out i got to use hardware but I never thought to go there to see if they got barbecue sauce oh well we'll tell them tell them they're blowing it they uh <laughs> if they don't have a big selection because mine has like a huge wall of hot sauce and barbecue sauce and grills it's like one fifth of the store is like dedicated to Whoa. barbecuing um oh that's cool yeah they're catching on yeah I, but anyways i was i was, uh, I, I was tasting and a lady came up she was like, oh, bird blood, like, that's violent. And then I explained <laughs> to her why it was called bird blood because of, you know, it's a, like a Thanksgiving poultry turkey mm -hmm. reference. Um, and then she loved it. And she ended up buying one from the store. But, um, yeah, we get some of that sometimes. Well, then I don't think she's going to like that. get the reference. No, I don't think <laughs> she saw that one. <laughs> That that was my introduction into Sauce Leopard is when we we were all hanging out in Albuquerque and um we got pizza um hanging out in your suite. core memory uh, that's a core the memory leopard lounge as uh, Mr. Stinky yeah. called it yeah the leopard lounge uh and just literally just smothering pizza and like it, like I I was I fell in love like I I. I, I told my wife that I fell in love that weekend with uh, <laughs> with your um, your ass gasher. I absolutely sauce, love that. Man. I've got like five I'm... bottles of it. Anytime like I meet somebody and become like friends with them and they talk like hot sauce with me, I'm like, here, I got you. And I hand them a bottle of it. I just gave yeah. my it's favorite like... barista across the street a bottle of the bottle of it because I just love it so much. I was like, you have to have this. You have to try this. Smother it on pizza. I think that was the first time in history someone said I fell in love with your ass gasher. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Probably, yeah. Not a lot of people have said that. Like, every time I've watched 
a mafia movie with like you know gang culture drug culture that was pretty much what i was experiencing at firsthand in the suite at albuquerque a bunch of people just sitting around a table pass hey man let me show you what i got opening up their pocket hiding them a little bottle of sauce they're putting some on their fingers taking a hit real quick taking a bump oh you gotta try my shit i was like this is like this is like every goodfellas movie i've ever gangbanging movie i've ever seen but they're that just was fun. Are, you guys, are you guys sauces. going uh, I don't think we've again solidified. I don't think we've solidified plans, but I think we want to. Um, I don't know if I'll yeah. survive another road trip. <laughs> That's I true. Even... Slug, yeah, Slug almost died on our last road trip. He mm. he made his way over across the country to come see me in Washington, and uh, almost died about four <laughs> hours short. So I don't know if I'm if I'm reco- recovered yet to make it to Albuquerque, but we'll have some conversations. They officially announced the dates, but it's. March third, fourth, and fifth. Um, they, I think there's uh, going to be a new owner, somebody who's been involved. Um, next year, so it's in it's in good hands. Oh, next year's um, new cool, new cool, owner cool. going over, taking over. Like, you, well, wait, you mean it's not this coming, but the following? Yeah, Emily has be, one more okay. year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just, just spoke to her. People got my booth confirmed. I actually <laughs> just called the hotel again to try to get another suite. Um, cause it was, it was, it was the same price. It was the same price last year. The lady just like happened to tell me like, you know, like you can get a suite for the same price and there's only two left. It's like, uh, well, yeah, I'll That's take it. Dope. But there we weren't any this time. Men. didn't know if there were going to be any, oh, but no. we'll we have four stinky men crammed in a two bed, uh, uh, <laughs> queen bedroom and mm-hmm. you're walk into your palace. It was beautiful. It was absolutely yeah, beautiful. It's a good time. Yeah. I'd like to be there. I have, more vacation than I know what to do with, so I'm gonna have to make sure I get down there. Yeah, it's an it easy one. It was a lot of fun meeting everyone. Denver. Yeah, yeah, I feel like the the commute down probably isn't too terrible. Yeah, it's like five how, how long of a drive is it? Five hours. Okay. That's not yeah, bad. Not, not having question. to ship all the shit down there is big money saver. Yeah, for sure. So I asked this question last season to Ashley from hot sauce realm. But I'm going to ask you too, because you are in the midst of it, but what about Colorado? I mean, every state has, you can name several hot sauce companies, but what about Colorado? I mean, there's 10 or 15 hot sauce companies I can think out there right now. What about that area is just makes it so vibrant for hot sauce companies. Hmm. You know, I think that we are like, just like a uh, like a cultural hub in general. Um, we're just like kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, if you look around us, there's really no big cities within nine hours. Um, but I think it's like for the same reason the music scene is so good here. It just it's a whether it's you know the lifestyle, the mountains, whatever it might be, has just drawn people here for so long, and you you end up with lots of like-minded people. You, so, you know, you end up with good bands, good restaurants, and inevitably good hot sauce companies. So I think it's just a bit of that. There's a lot of, like, smart, creative people here that are not assholes and, you know, are willing to share ideas with other people. And, you know, and it's it's worked out. I You know, I, yeah, there are quite a few hot sauce companies here, but I really don't think there's too many. I think there's like a good amount. Everybody has their little space in the market. Sure, I'd wish there le- there were less. You know, I'd have a better shot of getting on the the Kroger shelves. And but you know, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, not everyone's been on hot ones either, so you know. Right. Yeah. Beggars can't be. Speaking of, I don't know if you're gonna have some questions on a hot sauce guy, but Sean, every episode of that season, it seemed like somebody stopped on your sauce and made a comment and every time i was like that's so cool every episode i watched that season yeah. i was like that was surreal. oh my god that was so good like it the saw and we've we've tried the sauce the sauce is great it was just so rewarding and it i was gonna say also cat wise your cat is. scared the fuck out of me because i thought you had a kid <laughs> tied up behind you all of a sudden your cat reached up sean and tried to get the doorknob and i was like what the fuck's happening behind you even oh, though shit. i knew your cat was in the room but just seeing his little t- tiny thin paws reach up and start reaching like you had a child tied up back there trying no to yeah that's my it. son i keep him in the litter box yeah. 
<laughs> I was like, what's happening? There's, there's a monster, dude. Run, run, get out. Climb out a window. But yeah, to the hot sauce, uh, to the hot ones. That was just so sur- – I, how did that feel? Do, do you do you watch for those reviews? Do you watch those episodes or can you not take it? Is it too uh, much no, stress? I, I, yeah, I couldn't wait, you know, couldn't wait for them. Uh, it was really cool. I mean, obviously it was – you know, it's – it's as you guys know, it's the, the holy grail of the industry. So just mm-hmm. to be selected for that was insane, you know, just – crazy experience like that they even liked one of our sauces and wanted to work with us in you know such a young part of our uh our company's lifetime um yeah it, it was really cool i think my favorite was i think neil patrick Har- harris's reaction was pretty ridiculous it was yeah. like he's yeah he compared it to like a, be- a can of beans over a fire. I was like, yeah, yeah, I never yeah, thought it like really that, but I know exactly it. what you mean. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we talked with um, Scott from uh, Lucky Dog and he said like the, the, the most satisfying part about it was being able to just see these people and their thoughts on it. And like every now and then you get like a really cool, like sound bite or like tidbit of like where they, you get their true reaction because sometimes they cut it out because mm-hmm. of the flow of the show or whatever. Um, but it's really, really cool to see. And like, I can't think of like in my career, like what kind of like what that feeling would be, but I can only imagine that that's really cool of like somebody just saying like, it tasted like, uh, I can't like roasting beans over campfire. That's crazy. And then yeah. it being somebody that we've all seen. It'd be on, it'd be on every you know? flyer I hand out for the rest of my life for that sauce. <laughs> yeah, right. Neil Patrick try, Harris Try the says. Death Reaper. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris describes it as a can of ro- baked beans over a fire. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely using those those tidbits for, yeah. for some ads now, trying to. Mm-hmm. And there's certainly some guests on the show, though, that really don't care about the flavor in their head. The only point of the show is heat. You know, and we we as hot sauce people, you know, you know, roll our eyes at that. But, the you know, to be honest, 90, 95 percent of the people watching the show could give a shit about what the sauce tastes like. They want to see the celebrity suffer. And that's really yeah. what the show is about. And it's but it's cool that Heatness has taken such pride in choosing cool sauces and 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 curating awesome lineups each show. But, you know, when it comes down to it, that's not really what's selling. Um, yeah, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's great when you do have those guests that, um, really comment on the flavor, although pick up the bottle and read the ingredients. Unfortunately, I, I was really bummed that there wasn't like a celebrity chef on this season. I feel like there's always one and there wasn't yeah. one this yeah. time, but, uh, it's, I mean, it was amazing. We had like post Malone and fucking Chloe Kardashian. So weird. Just that, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, the, one of the Kardashians ate. <laughs> One of our products. Yeah. Yeah, so, something, crazy. something that at one point you were working out of the office in your house, create not not cooking there, obviously, but you know, but started cooking something a long time ago, and now a Kardashians like said for millions of people, like that's that I. That just blows and they send my everybody mind. home with a bottle, so there's a chance that <laughs> one of your sauce bottles is in the home of a Kardashian. Yeah. <laughs> and then if they're real family members, they probably shared it. All right. So maybe multiple. I'm, I'm hypothesizing yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. But you may be your sauce may have been inside of all the Kardashians. What enough you saw, I think they talked about it on the episode, but her kitchen, like her pantry, obviously her, you know, maids mm-hmm. are are doing this, but like her, she's like a freak about her pantry. It's all super, super organized. And yeah. so maybe she does have a, a hot sauce collection now that's yeah. alphabetical. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that assistant's definitely making bank organizing her hot sauces in her pantry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you brought up something real quick that I want to touch on because, um, so I've been to different, um, like markets and and um, different things where um, well, I don't even know the word I'm looking for, um, but like different markets and things. Um, and but Albuquerque was the first hot sauce hot sauce festival that I've been to, um, and it's interesting to see that dyna- dynamic between um, people that just like really spicy food or want to blow your brains out, and like the creative people looking for flavor. And you kind of touched on that with how the celebrities and hot ones or the people watching hot ones, um, you know, the dynamic there, what, uh, what's it like 
when you're at these different festivals and things, um, having to kind of balance people looking for just extreme heat and then like having to explain the creativity and the flavors that go into your different sauces. Yeah, you kind of just need to deal with them as they come, I guess. You know, if they, if you can tell right away if all they want is spicy. So, you know, the least you, you know, all you can do is point them to your hottest sauce. And if they don't think it's hot enough, then, you know, the, the next start of the next part of the pitch is trying to explain to them why we don't focus on the, the heat and, you know, asking them, them if they like the flavor, get them to recognize that they actually like the flavor. Um, but there, there's some people you just, you know, you can't win them all. You can't like, you know, some people you think they're super hot. You know, I don't think I have very hot sauces compared to a lot of companies. Um, and that's not what I try to do, you know, and there's some people will think that your most mild sauce is way too hot or vice versa. And yeah, I think you just need to alter your pitch. Uh, you know, as soon as you can see what kind of buyer they are, you really need to you know, tell them, you know, well, we have one that's really hot. It's not going to knock your sauce off, but it tastes good. Um, so, yeah, you kind of need to just take them as they come. Yeah, I mean, because you make such creative sauces. And, I, you know, having hung out with, like, Sam and Roddy at the festival, um, I could see kind of the disappointment in in their eyes when someone would walk up and say, what's your – give me your hottest sauce. Because, they, oh, the you know, time. they spend a – they spend a lot of time creating these recipes and it's, it's more than just about the heat. So, um, yeah. especially with, you know, the, ver the variety of sauces that you, you guys put out, it's, it's great. So. Yeah. I mean, especially at a, a spicy food show, you have to be ready for that. You have to be ready for those people that just want and want the hottest they can get. And, you know, I'm probably not going to please them and that's, that's okay. You know, the, the old, there's so many times at that show, especially it's, it's lots of like, you know, these big macho guys that, you know, they're with their friend and it's who out can out spice the other guy. And, you know, they, you point them to your hottest sauce and then they try it and say not hot enough and literally walk away without saying thank you. And like, I know what you mean. It is kind of disappointing. And that bugs me a lot during my first, you know, round of doing these markets um, or shows. But I've really learned to just shrug it off. It's just, you know, you can't win. Yep. You can't win them all. Now, is it because you have standards and quality standards that you won't put out a sausage you don't want to eat yourself? Or is it not cost effective as a business owner to just give these douchebags what they want and create <laughs> one just crazy hot sauce that will send them to the hospital? But you don't have to give that to the rest of your diehard you know, fans, your respectful fans. Well, that's a good question. I... Well, for one, it sucks developing a recipe that's that hot. Trying to taste it all the time is just difficult. Um, Good point. Good but, point. Uh, you could just keep sending them the slug, and he'll he'll try them for you. I'll do it. Yeah, for five know, bucks, man. I think I don't think that we won't ever. Uh, we do this yeah. thing called homegrown hell. We're about to release the second one pretty soon. Where mm -hmm. my we use our homegrown peppers. This year, it's my peppers and my brother's. And we just do a really small batch of a really small or a really hot sauce. It's like 30 to 50 bottles, whatever it comes out to. We make it really hot, but really flavorful as well. And it's an end of a year thing. And you got to, you know, we release however many bottles and you got to be there to get it when it comes out. Okay. Um, I like that. And it's a good way to test, test if these recipes work with a real, you know, with that level of spice. Um, the one last year I thought was great. It was like a peach orange version. Um, it was cool, uh, but I, you know, I don't think it was something that I wanted to release again. This one, I don't want to say what the flavor is. I've already made it actually. It's it's pretty good, um, but it's it's something that I might actually be uh, worth pursuing. So we'll see. It's, it's a nice way to test it out. Yeah, so do we have to be at the Ace Hardware to get a copy of this? Can we get on a pre-sell <laughs> list? No, or you it's, pre it's, going? Uh, it's going to be like, you know, we'll announce like a day or two before, you know, it'll be like 10 a.m. this date be there. Gotcha. Or last year, the, we had 30 bottles and it, they sold out in like 14 minutes, I think. Um, wow. So, yeah, just, just uh, keep an eye on Instagram. 
I think, um, I think like the first week of December. So, okay. All right. Wow. That will be right when this episode is dropping. So that might be perfect timing. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. And if, and if people like it, then you'll probably see more of it. <laughs> Hell yeah. We love that. All right, guys. Scott, is I think I, I, you've been waiting. I think you're salivating. I think we're going to try it. This is actually one of the only episodes I also have not tried the sauce. Oh, normally that's I've a first. The, normally, I've tried the sauce and know what I'm getting myself into. Well, I might have tasted it. I, I don't know if I tasted it at Albuquerque or not, but I haven't reviewed it yet. So how about that? All right. Right, yeah. Yeah, I could give you some I'm little, excited. some little, you know, pre precursor yeah, thoughts here. Um, mm-hmm. For one, the, the heat level rating on the bottle is probably higher than it should be. The next round of labels, we're gonna we're gonna lower that. It's 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 not that hot. It's probably like a three. Um, See, now I'm interested because my aide, my friend Hannah, every time she gives me my sauce, she always says the best part about me getting the sauce is she gets to lick her finger. But she never wants to let on like what I'm getting into for these episodes. But trying to read her psychology, I almost thought it was burning her to death. Like she was stone facing it so much, I, but she can handle heat. So maybe she just didn't want to tell me how good it was. Or but usually I can tell when she. Licks her finger and then she goes, mm-hmm, here you go. And then she runs out of the room. So I thought for sure this is going to be a little hotter than the bottle said. It's, uh, no, it's, it's milder. Um, it's thick. It's almost like, so like the way I try to describe it to people when they're trying it at a market mm-hmm. is that it's, it's almost like a cranberry jam or butter. Um, you can use it as a hot sauce or you can use it as like a spread. You know, it's kind of that in, in the middle consistency. You could glaze a ham with it. You know, it's, don't get me started like that. Don't get me started. <laughs> all these ideas. And again, I like this bottle. I like the bird skull. I can't say I'm a huge fan of ass gashers, man bent over with just a hand coming out the rectum that, that's, holding an axe. That's one. Of, that's one of the labels I did not draw, but I did do that's, this. Okay. So thank you. Okay. I appreciate that. you. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, the sauce is great, but I'm not a fan of that label. I'm a big fan of this bird blood label. Yeah. I really it's like sweet. that. It's, it's very sweet. Um, I've even had people describe it to me as like a really berry forward barbecue sauce. I was literally about to say, I don't know if, I, so I, I had COVID and my sense and taste and smell went away and it's it's basically mostly back. I'm going yeah, to reviewing it, I'm be able to start reviewing again here this weekend, but I, I, I took a sniff. It. It I so took good. a sniff of it, and I'm stop. like, it almost smells like a barbecue sauce. And I don't know if that's <laughs> started my salivating. No, wasn't <laughs> wasn't all the way there, or if it really smells like a barbecue sauce. But you said that, so I'm gonna that validates uh, my smell is back. It smells good. Don't don't mind me. Three. I feel like two, I should be trying it with you guys, but I don't. I don't. One. I don't have a bottle. You, in my house. you ain't got a bottle. Oh, okay. Cheers. Okay. The, enjoy. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Sean, I am gonna smother my turkey sandwiches <laughs> with this. Yeah. Oh my so, god. I, I start every I do, day with the turkey sandwich. This is going on. With my turkey sandwiches, I'll toast the bread a little bit and do mustard on on one side and bird blood on the other piece of bread. Mustard, okay. The texture. That is. Smooth. You're right. It does have like a. Like an apple butter type texture mm-hmm. or something to it, you know. And it, the first couple batches, it didn't, it wasn't like that. When I first did a homemade batch, it was like pretty runny, uh, almost like I don't know how to describe it, but it wasn't, it wasn't so thick like that. And then when I started working with a co-packer, um, they made the first batch they made came out like this, um, and instead of me telling them to like you know, water it down a little more. I was like, you know what? I, I think this might work. Let's stick with it. And, you know, I haven't gone back. This is going to go. Funny, it's funny how that works wings. sometimes. Yeah. I want to go buy a pack of turkey wings and just glaze the wings with this. this yeah. yeah really I've done, I've done that. Like use it as a glaze, like before you grill and then like, you know, brush it on like while it's grilling. Yeah. And, and there's a, there's a little bit of heat. I know that you said you take it down to a three. It's not overwhelming. But it's there for anybody that yeah, wants, it's, like, 
there's habaneros in there, so it, you know, it's there. Um, um, but but it's, I, I, it's fantastic. The worst part about this sauce is how long it takes me to get more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's it's absolutely fantastic. I love it. The thickness, it's like it'll stick to your bones. I love it. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking, is this going on my biscuits? Is this going on my stuffing? Mm-hmm. I literally gravy. So we haven't tried it yet, but I'm anticipating that I'm going to like it. But one of my favorite things in the world is French toast. I've had uh, have sauces as syrup uh, or like their honey. I put that on some French toast. And I see on your bottle here that you recommend to put it on some French toast. Yeah, so I'm gonna try do that. Out. I'm gonna get you know, some. Everybody uh, likes I'm gonna get blueberry some French pancakes, toast. blueberry French toast. It's kind of like the same. Yeah, same no, thing. I, I, I am 100% gonna throw that on some, some French toast with some. Oh, I can, I can already feel yeah, the wheels my ice cream turning too. in this, my head. This might be one of the few that I can throw into my ice cream. Ice cream, cheesecake. Tr- yep. Cheesecake. Yep. Cheesecake, yes. I put some of Stanky's on peach cobbler, but this would be great on a cheesecake. Just put it on, like, I'll just, like, or cherry cheese pie. and crackers a little bit on top. Like, you know, yes. I don't, like, make charcuterie boards, but I, I tell people, like, it's great with that kind of stuff. You know, like, it's, it's great a with good charcuterie board. smear. A charcuterie board smear. Yes, it is. I'm this buying a bottle a really, for the family party. Yeah. Yes. This would be yeah, a really yeah. good schmear on a, on a, on a, sh- a shark board for sure. Because it's got that thickness, too. Oh, good call. Yeah. I wonder if Yeah, because, you, you know, there's the always, like, that little berry jam in the corner of yeah. the shark yeah. board. So, yeah. replace that, it with this. Hell, yeah. That's it. I don't any know. Shark, this is going on yeah. any shark board I make. Sometimes Gabs and I uh, will uh, – just like get an urge that that's what we want to do for dinner or something like that. And just like make like a little, go to like Aldi's and just make one. It's yeah. going to be the schmear. Try a little think... bit on a cream cheese bagel. It's really good. Yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That'd this be killer. Definitely, I'm a, it seems like now every time I get together with family, it's a, a unwritten rule that I have to bring some hot sauce to whatever we're doing. Right. So Definitely going to bring a bottle of this for uh, Thanksgiving next week because it's going to go on everything. Yeah, I actually, that's, that's uh, one, of, one, of my, one of my best friends, him and I um, bond a lot over Thanksgiving. It's our collective favorite holiday together. Uh, and I, I, I shipped him a, a, a three pack today and I sent the bird blood in there because I was like, you need to have this on your table because um, I uh, uh, I know how much he loves spice and I know how much he loves Thanksgiving. And so I was like, I just, I just did it preemptively. I was like, I was like, I know I'm going to love this. It smells so good. I just want it. And so uh, I'm excited for him to try this too. Cause he's, he's really, really into, really into the spice and um, Thanksgiving and just the, yeah, I'm so excited. I literally just want Thanksgiving to just skip. Yeah. I just want, I, I just want my stuff to get here so that I can have it now. Um, we ordered, we got uh, a week. We ordered, uh, uh, like one, of one of the local restaurants here, uh, cause I don't like to cook. So I, I ordered a full spread from them. So I'm excited to try it. Oh, I can't wait. I'm like, I'm getting all a little, I just want to make up. cranberry sauce. Like I want to make cranberry jello sauce with this and just mix it in. Yeah. Substitute some yeah. of the water. Oh, Good this idea. is a great sauce, Sean. And now did you come up with this? Cause you're like, I want to fucking murder Thanksgiving. Where did the idea for the bird blood come yeah, from? Yeah, it so it was let's see. October twenty twenty. I was like, all right, I want to do a limited fall release. First thing that came to mind was cranberries. So I just tried it out. It was cranberries. There's still blueberries in that one too, but yeah, the first batch had cranberries as well. Um and yeah, lots of like those festive kind of winter holiday spices like cinnamon nutmeg allspice orange peel um that all those stuff are in all those are in there and I think it works really well with it and the habanero goes really well with all the flavors in there and and the burn mm. like the the heat yeah it 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 matches it, it 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 has a little warmth to it that just makes it all come together yeah i'm, I'm tempted to make like a, a super hot not a super hot but like a a hotter version of it you know that's like a six or seven out of ten that still is just as sweet same flavor but a little like still use habaneros just use more habaneros so you get like because it, it's a flavor that works with 
with fruit. Obviously, that's why everybody yeah. uses it because they're they're a citrusy pepper. So I think it could be a cool thing to try. Yeah, I think it would. You could do a XXX version. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I am, I am just absolutely smitten with this. I want to. I, I I can't. I'm. I'm I the wheels died. are turning in my head of all the things. How did you almost die? Are you okay? I drug the Kleenex across the uh, shot glass. So after I blew my nose, I looked down and saw the red. Thought I was bleeding and just about <laughs> passed out. Thought I had a nosebleed from the sauce, and I was like, "Well, I'm dead now. Just <laughs> gonna keep the camera off and die silent." <laughs> okay. Um. That I, I, th you actually asked the question that I, I wanted to get into the inspiration and the process oh, for it. So, uh, he stole my question. So, hot sauce guys, you're out. Because you only ask leading questions, which is shoddy journalism, and I take pride in the work that I'm employed to do. Well, you know, I've had to amend my uh, quick fire questions like four times because you've asked. <laughs> that have, well, I'm already holding back some of my up. questions. I don't want to ask him any other questions. I'm afraid of stealing more of your stuff. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I've got 12 and only asking 10, <laughs> so we're uh, we're, gotcha, we're good. Gotcha. So what what I, I what what's next? What's what's the next big ghoul for Sauce Leopard? Uh, I know that you talked about that like limited release that with the but what what's the next big goal? Oh, that's a good question. Um, there there's a lot going on. I think uh, honestly, man, I just want to expand as quick as possible. I so I'm just like I've hired just hired my brother to come as on as a marketing director. I just I want to keep the momentum going. I really don't want to slow down um, and get stagnant. Um, be awesome to get on hot ones again that'd be cool um <laughs> yeah but yeah and you know in terms of immediate stuff i need to make it through the holidays without you know blowing my head off this is you know it's that time of year where a million things yeah. are happening and just really trying to keep it together like we're starting this uh this market on friday it's 35 days in a row um Oof. oh wow and just staffing that and you know, keeping up with, you know, the holiday orders and just the everyday flow of business. But yeah, I think next year there's going to be some cool things coming, I'm starting to hire, you know, I, I, it's gotten to the point where I, I'm not able to do everything myself anymore. And I need to accept the idea of delegating and not having, you know, 100% control anymore, which is, which will be for the better. Um, my brother's a really smart dude and he's going to take a lot of that Back end marketing stuff and planning and you know implementing yeah. these 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 ideas for me um, so that will be a huge help. I think we want to release some new products for sure. I don't know exactly yet, but we're trying to release stuff that's not hot sauce yeah um, okay I think a rub right. is like in the cards, but that's, I think that's like the next move for every most hot sauce companies. And we want to do something a little bit different. Um, yeah. but yeah, we'll see. Um, really trying to get more national distribution. That's, you know, a huge goal. Uh, we just hired a broker to kind of, um, he's like this, this older gentleman, uh, says he's got lots of connections. We'll see, you know, I'm trying to, <laughs> branch out there and, and see if he could grease some deals for me but uh yeah that'd be cool i would yeah. love to have it on stock here in uh here in washington that would be great be able to just uh divvy it out and get it on demand whenever i run out i've uh, yeah, i, mean, I have like a little ever... cor i have a little Sorry, corner on my counter that's just uh, a stockpile of all my favorites so that way whenever i'm running low i just run and grab a new one and uh but yeah that would be that'd be sweet to have it national. Get it all over. Yeah, because I, I if there's ever I, I any like the whole world. you know, if there's ever any like grocery, you know, small independent groceries or smaller chains stuff that like isn't owned by Kroger, or Albertsons, or Whole Foods that has cool hot sauce selections by you, always you know, feel free to share those those names. Yeah. I love reaching out to to uh, to new new stores. I, I want to give a quick shout out. Uh, you mentioned your brother, uh, but I need to absolutely uh, just share that your parents are the 
two of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Um, I just want to give them a shout out. They are absolute gems. I could talk to your dad for hours upon hours upon hours. Uh, so just shout shout out to the fam. Shout out to the fam. Nice. I didn't really get to talk with your brother too much, but um, uh, yeah, he had to, he had were... to fly out that night, um, unfortunately for a funeral, and he came back at the end of the show. But uh, my parents loved that. Like that was their first like big event of mine for the sauce company that they had been to. And it was really cool for them to see. And they, my mom is, you know, she's like a little Italian woman and just, you know, wants, wants to be involved in it all and help out and feed. And this yeah. is perfect. She's just like feeding people. Samples. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was <laughs> talk to your dad for multiple hours. Just standing yeah, there. It was, talking, it was yeah. great. I just wanted yeah, to give a yeah, shout he, out to them. Cause talk. yeah, yeah. That was, they were there. I'll tell them you guys said hi. They, I think they, uh, I think they want to come to Albuquerque again. So if you guys make it, you'll uh, you'll get. To I'll see make it again. happen. I'll make it happen. That was a fun time. That was was a that was a real real fun time. Uh, is it time for you to, to 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 for hot takes? Is it is it is it that time, hot sauce guy? Yeah, we can. Uh... I think he's still. I think he's still amending these questions <laughs> over here silently. He's just adjusting them as we go. <laughs> As we go, I, 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 I'm, I, I, if I ruin one, I'm sorry, but I know one was originally like Boulder and Denver, like compare and contrast or something. And then you answered that within like the first, like you're like, Boulder is cool yeah. if you're in college. Fuck Boulder. <laughs> All right. All right. We already know the answer to that question. That was like, oh, okay. We got that one out. We got that one out. Yeah, that was one that uh, Slug wanted in there that I uh, amended, <laughs> yeah. amended very quickly. Yeah. But, you uh, took care of that, no. so I'm happy. We're good. I was uh, filming a little teaser to put on Instagram, but um, all good. All right. So I've got 10 questions for you just off the top of your head so we can get to know you a little better. The the world, the 14 <laughs> listeners that we have that listen to us, um, you Should can uh, get to know you. Yeah, get to know you better. Cool. You ready? I'll do my best. All right. Favorite band that's not yours? Favorite band. Black Sabbath. Favorite place to live? Well, I've only lived in two states. Um, it can be a city. Denver. Uh, favorite hot sauce that you make? Seventh Reaper. Best concert you've ever been to? Not yours. Ooh. Um, yeah, Kanye, you can't say yourself. I saw Neil Young at a small theater at University of Minnesota a couple of years ago. Nice. That's For my cool. dad's 60th birthday, actually, we surprised him and brought him to That's that. Cool. He, did, he had no idea what the show was until we walked in the doors. Was, was cool. nice. How did you convince him to go to Minnesota? Well, not, it was his 60th birthday, and we said we're going there, and then we have some surprises for you. Okay. Um, That's cool. We brought him to That's a University cool. of Minnesota hockey game because he loves hockey. He loves college hockey. Um, that's cool. And we brought him to the Neil Young show. Both of them were on the campus. It was really cool and convenient. Um, but yeah, that was that's sweet. probably that... pretty special memory for me. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Coolest place you've ever visited? Uh, I've been to a couple countries in Europe, and I think Ireland is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Like the, the motherland. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite thing to eat? Italian food. Oh. Favorite TV show? The Office. Great Morning pitch. or night? Oh, what age of Sean are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go right now. <laughs> Morning. Apple or Android? Apple. Favorite adult beverage? Ooh, uh, old fashioned okay. or bourbon, you know, any, anything bourbon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coffee that or tea? That's my answer too. Coffee all day. That was, uh, I, uh, I, I, was I got migraines for a few years and like doctor recommended I stop caffeine and I gave it up for two years and that, that was sounds rough. terrible. And now I'm, I'm back and I just decided, fuck the headache. I can't stop. <laughs> just take, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, do what you got to do. Those are some I, good questions. I love Thank coffee. you. Yeah, it made me uh, 
let me think a little bit. The yeah, well, favorite place to live, you know, I've actually, oh, you know what? I lived, I did a semester in England, um, my junior year of college, and that was actually, I forgot about that. That was a pretty cool place to live, but it was so short. I, you know, it felt like it was just like I don't know, on vacation, a long vacation. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we uh, we implemented this uh, segment this this season, and it's been uh, been popular. It's been fun. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. So well, as oh, go ahead, hot sauce. Go, go, go ahead, Sly. So I, I was just the the one thing that we like to do in the the final moments is the the. Um, I mean, we've all seen it, but like, uh, where do people find you? Um, what like here's your moment to shine. Uh, where this where camera, the this people... camera, this camera. Yeah, you, yep. you, yeah. Not you got that it. we're stealing it from anybody. Not that we would do that. Everybody not... does that. Everybody ends every interview with a chance for you to gloat. So yeah. it's not like Sean Evans made that a thing. But yeah, what camera you want to talk yeah, to? Yeah, this camera. To this about? camera. Yeah. This camera. Yeah, yeah. Where, where do people find you? What, what, where can they? What are your handles? Um, well, obviously, softflipper dot com. Um, sign up for our newsletter. We always have you know, either promotions or new limited runs coming out very soon. We have the 2022 homegrown hell, which is a super hot batch made with my homegrown peppers. Um, if you're in Colorado, you could find us at natural grocers. Um, but if you're out of state, I recommend checking out the store locator map on our website. We are in quite a few States now, but not super distributed. Um, so check out the map. Hopefully there's something near you. Um, you can also find the seventh reaper on Amazon and heatmist.com. Um, but yeah, that's where you can find us. If you're, if you're in Denver and listening, you can find us at the Chris Kindle market every single day until December 23rd. Cool. cool. That's it. Yeah. I have to go so, check out, uh, I have to go check out Tacoma boys. Cause I know, uh, right. They carry yeah, we're stuff in, uh, here in Washington. Pali- how do you pronounce it? Pallyup? Pialup. Pialup. Yeah, it's a, it's one of the the uh the native tribes here. That's the, that their area of the Pialt Nation. Um, yeah, they ordered yeah, from us double, recently. Are you in Double D's meat market? I am. But, I think they um, have like is it the biggest hot sauce selection in the U.S. or something? Yeah, yeah. We, we, I took I took hot sauce guide there when he came to visit me. It's up in Seattle. It was pretty cool. I I didn't know about it until they ordered. And just the name, I was like, well, I have to Google this place. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like then, a yeah, kid all, in a candy store. <laughs> yeah, all I saw was just, like, photos of just, like, you know, as if it were, and, like, a grocery store with just hot sauce. Yeah, and, and then they've got, like, a whole – then they've got a whole rack of meat and, like, jerky and, like, like all kinds of stuff. It was, it's, 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 it's definitely your uh, – uh, it's a, it's one of those cool stores where you can get about anything that you want. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, if I had, if I had to guess, they probably won't be ordering again anytime soon. <laughs> There's a, a lot a lot of competition. Yeah. All right. But Sean, we really appreciate it. Um, it was good to catch up and and hopefully some people learn more more about what you got going on and uh, hopefully we uh, see you again in in Albuquerque. Yeah, that'd be uh, great to see you guys. And if I don't see you there, um, hopefully at one of the next shows or, you know, come uh, yeah. come hang in Denver sometime. Thanks for listening to another episode of Talking Heat. Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcasting platform so you never miss an episode. For more information, visit TalkingHeat.com.